the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us look at Psalm 67, verse 5 and 6. And it's there. Verse 6, uh, Psalm 67, verse 5. He said, let the people praise me, O God. Hallelujah. That praise is, is, is a command. Tell somebody it's a command. Praise is a command. He said, let my people, he said, let my people praise me. Are you a man of God? Are you, can, I, can I hear men of God in the house? Are you a woman of God? I want to hear men of God to say, Ooh! Hallelujah. Hello. Life is personal. Salvation is personal. Don't worry about those people that are not here. Hallelujah. Bible said, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Meaning you need to do your best to get God's attention. And if you want to get the miraculous, you need to do the ridiculous. Yes. Hallelujah. If you want to, if you want to get God's attention, you need to you need to see, you need to display desperacy for a change. Do you need a change? We would have been sleeping at home. We are here because we desire a change. Hallelujah. Hear the word of God. He said, let the people praise me, O oh God. He said, let all the people praise you. He said, then the land shall yield her increase. You want to see increase? Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your prayers. Let's make the word of prayer. Please, can you come to Psalm 24, verse 1 for me? Hey, the Lord. We are going to give the Lord praise tonight. We are going to worship Him in our with all our being. And the Lord will do what He needs to do. Look at Psalm 24, verse 1. He said, The head is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that void therein. That is, you don't need
Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. We go for a
until the bishop of this house, his greatest bishop, Dr. Colton Keith, the Indian Mayor, the whole pastor of this house, and all of us, the Indian Mayor, our bishops and officers of this house, the bishops and pastors, and then everything great to us again, God the Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. To all the saints of God, we bless you in your hands. Glory to God. Now, this is what the hour comes. Hallelujah. And now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Amen. The importance of praise and worship. Amen. When we think about praise and worship, we have to understand that true praise and worship is birth of the intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. Right, amen? We cannot have true praise and worship unless you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen? And that's an intimate personal relationship. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I'll try to that just quickly run through all the things that I wrote out just now. Amen? So we cannot adore, amen, who you never admire. So if you ever admire Jesus, how can you adore him? Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot even worship Jesus Christ if you'll never encounter him. Amen. You must have a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. Amen. But the few words in the, the Hebrew for Greek, you know, the word Allah, which is the most foolish word in the Shua. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the root of Hallelujah. We have a Tabitha. Which is to pray vocally in song or a shout. This what praise and worship. And then on Sunday morning, tries to do to get the people engaged in the morning services. And then glory to God. And the Bible says that I take this day to Thanksgiving. And just worship with praise and be thankful of Him. Bless His name. And that, that's Psalm 100, verse 4. We have some more. And that, which is the praise with instruments along with the voices. And then the Bible says in Psalms 33, 2 and 3. Praise the Lord with the heart. Sing unto him with the pastor and with the instruments of thanksgiving. Sing unto him a new song and play skillfully with the love of noise. You have a hallelujah also praise. It is a corporate praise. So when we gather together, when we begin to shout hallelujah in the atmosphere, something must happen. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's a corporate praise. Psalm 111 verse 1 declares, I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. And the company of the upright is a congregation whenever we sit together like this. We should, hallelujah, not be afraid to shout hallelujah unto the Lord. Amen. Uh, you have a uh, your heart, which is to lift up or throw your hands up upward in praise and surrender. Amen. So when you throw both arms in the ear, you say, God, I just surrender myself in praise to you. Hallelujah. Uh, Psalms 42, verse 5 says, uh, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted with him? We hope thou in God, for I shall yet praise him for my help of, of his countenance. Amen. So when you're in distress, that's a perfect time to throw your hands over the ear and surrender to God and say, God, give you my truth. God, I give you the burden. God, I give you the troubles. Amen. That's the best time to just really pray the name of the Lord. And how to have, which is to sing praises together as one community in harmony. Hallelujah. We have a, a Shabbat, which is a, a reach out with affection for God to feel um, his hold on us. And I tell you that with we'll worship now, the word, um, the worship, amen, the word for worship, amen, hallelujah, has to do with the word, uh, come close to kiss. So when you get into the presence of God, it's always as if, amen, you're going to kiss the most high God, hallelujah. It is really, it belongs to prostrate, to bow down, amen, and to show reverence unto the Lord. And so we gather together for worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a worship that God accepts. Amen. Hallelujah. The worship must be holy. Can I say that again? There is a worship that God accepts and it has to be holy. Amen. Why do I say that? Romans chapter 12 verse 1. And I know the time I read this and today the Lord is showing me something real quickly. Because when you hear the repeats in the church, this is what it sounds like. It says, I wish you to be therefore brethren by the grace of God that you present your body. 
And you hear him say, ah, he's an alien sacrifice. He said, present your body, alien sacrifice. Oh, God. That's the Lord in his heart. Amen. So you are a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Which is part of that. Reasonable service, that's just your act of worship. So everything that you do in the hands of God, minister, is an act of worship. Your attitude, how you deal with this position, your demeanor is an act of worship. So the moment you step through the doors of the sanctuary, you should want to put on your praise God and your rain. Get ready to praise God. Hallelujah, that's why you're not supposed to have personal fighting in the house of God. Because everything you do must be an act of worship. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your service, your giving. Amen. If you're giving God, right, even if you're